Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Right, I've just reacted to the seafood boil video and Malcolm's new video popped up. He released it a couple weeks ago, I think it was. Uh, the juiciest way to smoke barbecue chicken. Now, like I say, I've just reacted to the um, uh, seafood boil and unfortunately here in Slovakia, I cannot get my hands on that amount of seafood. So I will not be able to try that for the foreseeable future but what i can get my hands on and what i've got running around in my backyard even is a lot of chicken i eat a lot of chicken so i want to start smoking stuff i definitely gonna i am definitely gonna start smoking stuff i've actually just bought a couple barrels i'm gonna try and make my own smoker because a lot of you guys recommended that i should just try and make my own so i'm downloading and saving so many of these recipes of stuff that i can actually do here in slovakia so i wanted to check this one out so i apologize for the double food video today there might even be another one because i am starving uh, before we get into the video if you haven't done so already please make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you're feeling extra frisky you may as well hit the like button as well i do have a patreon and a buy me a coffee page link down in the description if you want to support the channel and without further ado let's get into the juiciest way to smoke barbecue chicken Hey, welcome back to How to Barbecue. Hey, Mel I'm Malcolm Reed. Y'all, today I found some big whole chickens on sale at the grocery store. What better way to celebrate barbecue month than to cook up some barbecued half chicken? Let's get to cooking. So these I birds are getting dropped down in a barbecue brine. And all that is is some hot sauce, about a half a bottle of my bird brine, and then about a half a cup of the barbecue rub. I'm going to top it off with a gallon of water, and you want to soak them for at least six hours. So once the birds come out of the brine, we're going to turn them into half chicken. It's something I've never really even thought about, never done. I never really heard about it until I started jumping deeper and deeper into this whole barbecue thing, uh, is brining. What an awesome way to get that flavor into the meat as well. It's like, all that is, is I'm taking kitchen scissors and removing the backbone. And then turn them over and grab them. your chef's knife and split them right down the middle. And I also clip those wing tips off. So for the season, I'm going to start on the bone side. Always season both sides of your meat. And on this side, you can really tell how that brine's kind of soaked in down deep in that chicken. We're just going to get a coat of your favorite barbecue rub on it. Whatever you like. Got this hot rub going down today. I'm going to put a decent coat. You want to stretch out them wings. Make decent. sure you get some Love seasoning on them i'm just gonna season the skin side now same way so today i'm mm. firing up my outlaw stick burner for this cook start with a good bed of royal oak lump charcoal got a couple of tumbleweeds underneath it to get those coals hot and once they start bringing the temperature up on the dial that's when i'm going to start adding hickory wood splits it's going to give us smoke flavor it's going to give us good btus you want to run your pit at 275 doesn't matter what you cook on just keep those temperatures at that range all right y'all check out how that rubs kind of melted down on that skin these halves are ready for the pit now, all I'm going to do is just set them right on here the way I want them to cook. We're not going to move them a whole lot, but I want to make sure that skin's kind of laying right. You can run them all the same way if you want. Plenty room to breathe here. Now all we got to do is close the lid on our outlaw and let that hickory wood eat. So our chicken halves have been on just a little over an hour. This is exactly what I wanted them to do. I wanted that color. rub to kind of blend in. We wanted to get some of that hickory smoke on them. They got a pretty color now. We're going to get them tender. So normally I just drop these chicken halves in a pan, maybe put some butter in there and cover it and get them back on. But I'm going to do things a little different today. I know how good that Texas turkey breast is where I wrapped it up with the butter. Yeah, I remember in that full, one. tight, kind of like a rib. That's what I'm doing to these chicken halves. So we're going to set it here on the full. And then I've got some sticks of butter that I've split in half. What we're going to do is lay two of them <laughs> down. Of now I'm going to flip the chicken over on it. I'm going to hit it with just a little more rub on this back side. But this process is about getting that skin tender. I want to be able to chew that skin. I don't want it to be tough. And wrapping it up tight with that butter is going to help it. So all you're doing is taking foil, bringing it up and over, tucking it in around that chicken. And it's going to kind of braise. Mm in this little package we've created. And that's gonna go right back on the pit. All right, I got them all wrapped and back on the pit. We're gonna close that lid on the outlaw, hold this temperature at 275, about an hour and a half, we're gonna check on them. All right, it's been about an hour and a half. I wanna check on these chicken halves. So I'm gonna grab one off here. It's been on the longest, the first one we wrap. Let's take it over the cut board, check it out. Moment of truth, y'all, it's when you unwrap that full. The weather behind them is turning a bit. To these halves. I know, they're probably not gonna be the prettiest. That's okay, they've been wrapped up, smothered in butter. How would you look? I'm gonna carefully unwrap them. Y'all know this is hot, this butter can run on you. Bottom side looks good. We lost some of the color, but that's okay. The skin oh, that still perfect. looks good. And that's what I wanted still to see. Now, if y'all wanted to check the internal temperature, this is a good time to do it. You want it to at least be 165 in that breast. I know this chicken's hotter than that. I've done this before. If I had to guess, it's about 175, 100. <laughs> I've done this before. 
I can tell, mate. This guy is an absolute legend. And I love him. Um, yeah, I like my my chicken skin quite crispy. I don't know if I'd like. I don't know. I want to see when he cuts it. It looks like it might be a bit soft, but but it still Let's looks see. good. We it got might not be finished. Oh, we there you go. We got tenderize. We got that skin super soft. Now we got to get them pretty. First, I'm going to hit them with a little bit more rub. This is where you can fill in any of those little cracks where the skin tore. And it's going to melt. And it's going to give it that appearance you want. And now I'm just going to hit them with some barbecue sauce. Use your favorite barbecue sauce straight out the bottle. If you got a favorite recipe, you can use that too. And all I'm going to do is just drizzle it right over the top and let it run right here on the board. That's beautiful laying there. But we got to get some of that smoke on it. Let that sauce soak it up. That sauce not only makes this chicken look pretty, but it's going to be flavor. It's going to caramelize down. It's blending with that rub we put on. It makes that skin pop. Let's get it back on the pit. I'm just going to use a spatula, slide under them real easy to pick them up. Take it right back over to the outlaw. All right, we got the chicken There's back the on the glaze. Now all we need is about 15, 20 minutes. We're going to hold that temp steady. Just let it kind of die down. We got a little light smoke coming. That's perfect. Just watch it and don't let it burn. All right, it's been 15 minutes. Let's look at these glazed chicken halves. Check this out, y'all. Yep, beautiful. there Perfect you go. on the outside. It soaked up a little bit of that hickory mm. smoke. I know it's going to be juicy. I know it's going to be tender. It's time to eat some chicken. All right, y'all, after we put that barbecue makeover on them, that's some beautiful birds right there. And y'all know what time it is. I got to go in here. What do you think I'm going to try first? I'm eyeballing this wing. Take me a little mm -hmm. knife. See how tender, how tender it, is. it is. The bone will pop right out. Yep. Clean. Yep. Got that smoke flavor going. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> That's tasty. Oh man, I'm, this is the last food video of the day because I am starving and nothing I'm going to make today is going to even come close to any other food I've watched. And it really, excuse my French, it pisses me off. I've got to get this bloody smoker built. You can separate them, you serve them up, you get the whole half. So what I'm going to so do is good. just take my knife, kind of get the breast off that leg quarter. We got flavor all down in it, it's juicy. The skin on the outside is about perfect. It's soft, it's not rubbery. You can bite right through it. Mm. Yes. Now for the dark meat, y'all. I know y'all hate to watch me do it, but I gotta try some of that too. You can see some of that brine, how it's gotten down in the meat. It's got flavor through and through. Mm. Oh, that's so tender. That, that dark meat melts in your mouth. But not only do you get that barbecue flavor from that glaze we put on it, from the smoke, from the seasoning, deep down in the meat, you're tasting that brine. You get that hot sauce. You can get that rub we put on there. And giving it time to soak is what makes all the difference in the world. Hey, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me here today at How to Barbecue Right. Y'all like what we're doing? Subscribe to the channel. You know you can find us on all the... I've already saw, uh, subbed to you, mate. He's an absolute legend. I'm learning so much from his channel. The Seafood Boil, I want, uh, I've just subscribed. Well, I've just watched now as well. I've subscribed. I'm, <laughs> I'm subscribing to all these food and barbecue channels. Oh, I'm so jealous. I know, I know it's coming. Patience. I've just got to be patient. And I'm still learning. So I'm hoping all these videos, the knowledge that I'm getting from these guys will hopefully soak in. And I'll probably make a few mistakes, but I bet they'll still taste pretty all right um yeah i could probably eat a full roast chicken in fact i know i could when i was when i was working in london you could go to a shop like sainsbury's or tesco's and you could buy a full cooked roast chicken like a rotisserie chicken and that's what i'd have for lunch with some bread or some rice uh, uncle ben's microwave rice or something and that was my lunch a full roast chicken and i can nail a full roast chicken easy so i think i'd need to cook a bit extra there just for work like for tomorrow the next day oh it looks so good i'm so so hungry now I'm literally drooling. Anyway, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. I know there's not a long left of it, but, you know, it'll soon be weekend again and you can chill and enjoy your time off work. Anyway, thank you so much again. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.